Well, I forgot to start the movie, um, but this is the first hand of the September 18th free weekly instant tournament on BBO. Um, I'm going to click here so you can see the auction. Sounds like I'm too loud. So I'm going to click on the auction. My partner opened one heart. And we can't see that, so I have to bounce up. Okay, you have to take my word for it. He opened one heart. And uh, I had a really nice hand with 17 high card points and two five card suits. As you know, using uh, the Bergen point count method that I've been advocating to the members, uh, you get a point for each five card suit. I have two five card suits, so my 17 grows to 19. Uh, so I'm going to try to find a fit. I'm going to start, I bid two diamonds, partner rebid his heart suit. And then I uh, bid my club suit. He showed diamond support. And once he supports diamonds, I get two points for the singleton heart. I get one point for the side four card suit or longer, which is clubs. And I don't get anything for one doubleton. If I had two doubletons, I would get a total of one point. But that adds me up into to we're in slam zone. So I cube bid my spades and he bid three no trump. Uh, I'm not going to play three no trump. I'm going to try for slam. Matter of fact, I'm probably going to just bid one. So normally I would cue bid four clubs, but the robot takes a four club bid there as a cue bid of the ace. So I bid four diamonds. Partner raised to five diamonds, and I bid six diamonds. So that's the bidding, and the reason why I bid on, I start off with 17, eight, I start off with 17 plus two is 19, and partner raised diamonds. I get two for the singleton heart. That gets me to 21, and I get a point for the side uh, five, four card or longer suit, and that gets me to uh, 22 points. So we have at least uh, 33 points. All right, so we're going to slam. Uh, on the spade lead, we have three spade tricks, three heart tricks, and three diamond tricks. We have to lose the ace of clubs, so we'll have to assume that diamonds are split 3-2 so that we can pick all the diamonds up. That gives us two extra diamond tricks for 11. The obvious uh, 12th trick is going to be the king of clubs. And if we had another entry to dummy, we could try to set up a long heart, but we don't have that. So the plan is to Pull trumps, unblock spades, crossing hearts, throw clubs away on the major suit winners, and then lead up to the uh, king of clubs, making if the ace of clubs is with east. So I'm going to go ahead and play low. Okay, I'll capture the queen and pull trumps. And good, they both followed. Excellent, excellent. They both followed. Oh, and the jack fell. This gives me an extra chance because now I have an extra entry to dummy. So with the extra entry, I can test hearts to see if they split, and I don't even need to worry about the ace of clubs. Okay, there are the robots played. I'm going to win the ace. And since the jack has fallen, I'm going to rough this next heart with the queen of diamonds. I would have to unblock the, the jack of spades earlier, except when the jack of diamonds fell, I've got the diamond entry to dummy. Now I'll unblock the jack. And now I'll go to dummy. And we'll find out whether the heart split, whether throwing hearts is good for us. So the hearts are going to be set up. And the king of spades is good. And we'll give them a trick. Okay, so since the Ace of Hearts was on sides, it wasn't a very, I mean, Ace of Clubs was on sides, it wasn't a very challenging hand. And we got a 96. That's a nice start. But we got 96 because our hand exploded to well over 20 points uh, when partner supported diamonds. So now we're looking at the next hand. We have a fairly decent hand. Um, I'm certainly going to bid two diamonds. I'm not going to bid three diamonds as that's weak. So let's count our points. I don't count anything for a singleton jack. That's just useless until partners show support. 
So I have 14 high card points, not counting the jack of spades. I have a quality diamond suit. It's four cards or longer with three of the top five. So to my 14 points, I add a point for the quality suit, and I've got six of them. That takes me to 17 points. I can certainly bid two diamonds, and I will certainly compete to three diamonds. Oh, I meant to bid one diamond. I can't. Double to bring hearts into play. Wes has suggested he has hearts. I think I'll just bid three diamonds, and we'll see what happens. Don't double me. Okay, so we're in three diamonds. Now let's look at our tricks. We have one heart, three clubs for four, and I can lose, I can win, worst case scenario, I can win, well, I'm going to lose a lot of clubs. I can lose two diamonds, but I might win five. Five and four is nine. So if I can avoid, if I can hold the diamond losers to one, I'll make my nine tricks. Um, I guess the best play is to try to finesse in diamonds. I'm going to go ahead and win my ace. And I'm going to cross in clubs and try the finesse. I don't have the eight, so I'll just lose a small one. Try to jack. Okay, so now it looks like I'm going to be down one. If they can't rough a club, I can certainly pull trumps when I get in, and I'm in. Okay, the jack of spades will never be a winner. Those three hearts will never be a winner. So I've got five tricks. I'll just claim five more tricks for down. Is that down one? Uh, that's pretty good. Of course, the match points, I could probably make two spades, which is probably why going on helped. Okay, now we've got another good hand. Is that 22 points? Let's see. Oh. 9 and 9 is 18 and 4 is 22. 23. Okay, well, this is a two club opener and I'm going to rebid two no trump. Okay, so partner's inviting me to slam, and I I am sort of on the low end of my, what did I promise? I think I promised 22 to 24, 23 plus, 22 to 24, but I do have a nice five-card suit that's a source of tricks, and I have the ten of diamonds and the nine of hearts. Either of those cards could come in very, very handy, so I'm going to bid six no trump. That's quantitative. It's not asking for uh, aces. Um, I'm going to bid six no trump. Okay, so so now we're going to play into hand. Uh, I want to save the King of Spades for later as an entry. Uh, so I'm not going to play the Jack now because even the Jack holds a uh, block to suit. The whole hand comes down to I've got uh, seven diamonds opposite three, so there's only three out. As long as I don't play a, even if they split three zero, as long as I play the diamonds, the right diamond first, and I have no way to know what the right diamond is. Um, I can pick the diamond suit up, and I still have the spade entry if I play low. Um, all right, I'm going to just win this in my hand. I don't expect to see the queen play. And we'll try the ace of diamonds. Follow suit. Okay, so now it doesn't matter how the diamonds split. Okay, so I've got all the diamonds. So I've got seven diamonds and three clubs is ten, and three spades is, uh, two spades is... 12 so I can't go down and I could maybe make a long club so I'm going to unblock the diamonds so be careful to win the king I have misclicked those before and now we're going to take a club pitch is always good I can pitch one two three cards on those last three diamonds uh, I'm going to agree with this guy pitching clubs is a good idea I'm only going to pitch one because I'm, I got 12 tricks I don't need Five club tricks. I think enough club pitches have happened that all my clubs are going to be good. I think I can claim. Okay, so 
So that's another good board for us. I mean, it's not great. Everybody's going to make six. Okay. So the question on that hand was you wanted to add extra values for your five card club suit. All right. Now, four passes and a four seat. Sometimes I open this hand one no trump, even though I only have what looks like 14 points. Uh, ace king and uh, ace and three jacks is like another ace king. That's 14. I have five spades. Um, since everybody's balanced, uh, if I'm going to ever stretch and open a 14.1 no trump, this would be it. The question is, do I want to? Those jack tens just convince me to do it. I'm, eh, maybe it's open a spade. We'll try out one no trump. Maybe I should have opened something else. Well, they're in spades. That's not good for them. Shoot, wish partner doubled. Okay, well, that's my lead. Let's try the ace, king, and diamonds. Let's see, did I forget if they lead ace from ace, king, or king from ace, king. It doesn't really matter, I don't guess. I should probably look that up. I don't remember. I think it's ace from ace, king. Okay, so let's think about the hands. Partner doesn't have a lot, but I like our spade holding. We're going to win two spades. We might get a club. Partner's five of diamonds is attitude. It looks low to me because I still don't see the four. He might be encouraging. But since I don't see the four, I'm going to try to set up a club trick. Maybe partner's got the king of clubs. Uh, maybe not. Mm. And partner also play attitude here. Oh, that's not a good attitude. So E should have at least five spades, and I have five, and there's one in dummy. So that the nine could be partner's only spade, or partner might, bless his soul, have another one. Do I want to win this one? I guess I do. I want to knock out any entry to that heart suit, I guess. I should probably should have let a heart before. Alright, well, let's knock out the heart entries. We don't want him cashing five, you know, good heart winners later on the hand. We've got two more spade tricks for sure. Oh, partner had the ace of. Oh, that's good. Okay. So my ace jack is over to Claire's 10, unless partner drops a 10. So partner had two, so it occurs down to uh, two trumps. My eight of spades is going to be high. We'll win that one. I don't think partner has the queen of clubs. So we've got four tricks, and I've got the king of diamonds might. Looks like it's going to cash. And I'm going to win the eight of spades. I might be able to win the nine of spades. I don't know. I mean the nine of spades. The uh, five of spades by roughing something. Let's see if I can cash my king of diamonds. Okay. My partner didn't like clubs. Well, they're going down. That's the good news. All right. Not a heart. Oh, partner had the queen of clubs, but I, I scored my five of uh, spades, which I would not have scored. I don't think. I don't remember the spots that well. I might go when I scored it anyway. All right, well, we'll take that. Well, that worked out very well. Yeah, opening 14 is not always a good idea, but in fourth seed, if you have some good reason after three passes, 
uh, you can do it. Um, all right. So when they open, when partner opens a preempt, uh, your doubles are penalty, and they're not going to win very many tricks in clubs or diamonds. And partner has a lot of hearts vulnerable, so they need to take an awful lot of tricks in spades to uh, come close to making this. So I'm going to make a penalty double. Partner should pass that. And I talked about did this this in last week's. Uh, thing. I'm not really that interested in roughing a heart because I think I've got one spade trick and one spade trick only. So I'm going to attack with the king of clubs. Okay, there's six clubs and dummy. I have five. So clubs are six, five, one, one. So both the uh, declarer and my partner are out of clubs. That was a very good switch by partner. I'm going. To, I want to play two rounds of spades so he can't rough his partner. Only had six hearts, so declarer's got several hearts. I don't want him roughing hearts and dummy. And so I'm going to win the king and continue spades. And so declarer's heart should be losing to my partner, and declarer's diamonds lose to me. So this is going to go down a couple tricks at least. I don't know how good his spades are. Okay. Your spades are good enough. Alright, well the Queen of Diamonds is going to win. I think her partner's gonna win some hearts. I'm not sure know which. Okay, partner gets the heart. Okay, is that down two? That's not bad. Yeah, when you have hands like this where you have <laughs> the other two suits and partners preempted in one and they, they come into bidding, you're usually in good shape. Well, this looks like a hand with a lot of tricks. I have eight, eight hearts, and I suspect to win eight tricks and hearts. That's not too good to preempt. I think I will. Well, Betty's just logged on. Hi, Betty Berkman. Uh, let's go ahead and open a heart. Partners, two spades. It's forcing a uh, free bid, 11 or more points. So I only need two tricks from partner, or say the ace of diamonds and the king of clubs is with east. Doesn't sound like the king of clubs with, will be with east with west bidding. But I think what I'll do is I'll just bid. I could bid four hearts. I think I'll just bid four hearts. Um, we should make, partner should have at least one trick for me. Give me some play. Ugh. All right, well. Wes came in at the three level, so he probably has at least six diamonds. So diamonds will probably be six with the west, two with the east. Two and dummy, and my three, so six, three, two, two. So my my little my little diamond will be over roughed, I think, by east. I think. Okay. Well, this is interesting. All right. I'm pretty sure east will over rough the diamond. But he didn't return a diamond, suggesting he might have three. West could have king, queen, f ten, fifth, and diamonds, and bid three diamonds. Um, maybe if I could rough that diamond and it works, that's the only way I can make this hand. That would be my tenth trick. Then I can rough a spade back to my hand, pull trumps, and. And concede a uh, club at the end. All right, I don't think this is going to work, but we're going to try see if we can rough it. Don't rough it. Shoot. Okay, well, um, don't guess it matters. We will just pitch our losing club. It's not going to help us. And now we'll we'll trap his ace, I guess. It's ten. And we'll claim down one. 
Well, actually, he roughed, actually, the diamond rough, he roughed with a, a Trump winner. So, amazing. We've got 71%. I, who knew? Okay. <clears throat> Back to this hand. Okay. 18 highs, right? So it's a 14 and 4. It's 18. I'm going to open a diamond. Well, balanced. Uh... 18 to 19, that's a 2 no Trump rebid. Partner bid, they play new minor forcing. He's looking for three card spade support or a four card heart seat. He might be five five spades and four hearts or might have five spades without the four hearts. He's just looking. Um, I could bid three no Trump or I could show good diamonds. If he's trying for slam, I'd be masterminding the hand if I bid three no Trump. Um, because that doesn't show, well, that would deny four spades and it would deny three hearts. But I could be four, four, three, two with four clubs, four diamonds, and three hearts. And so he, if he's thinking diamond slam, he wouldn't know I had five. I guess the right thing to do is to be honest. Three diamonds, got rebidable diamonds. Three no trump, well, I could have bid three no trump, not told the east-west about my hand. Okay. Well, I like to count my tricks. I have three hearts and two clubs is five, and three diamonds is eight. If diamonds split three, two, five, three, three, two, five, three, three, two, I've got five diamonds for 11 tricks. If diamonds split badly, i got to hope they can't beat me to death in spades. So I diamonds split four, one. All right. Um, I guess I'm going to win this in my hand. See what they play. I don't want to give them a chance to switch to spades in case that's deadly. And even if I okay, I could cast the ace of diamonds, and if E shows out, I could finesse West in diamonds. That's uh, that would protect against a five-zero split. Um, but I would still, I would win four diamonds, not five. If he says a singleton, I wouldn't know to finesse west for the jack. All right, so I'm going to try a, uh, also if I play the ace and, and east has five diamonds to the jack, nine, I wouldn't be able to double finesse him in, with the ten and the eight, the ten and the five to set up my other trick. So, um, Protecting against 5 one one way, 5 oh, one way doesn't work on the other way. So I'll just play diamond to the dummy and hope they both follow. Queen. Okay. <clears throat> so now there's three diamonds out. The jack, the nine, and something to five. No, the seven. I'll add the seven. The three. Uh, if they split three, two, I've got all the rest of the tri all the rest of the diamonds. If west has three to the jack, there's nothing I can do about it. If East has three to the jack, there's one thing I can do. I can try to trick him. If he's got jack nine third, he shouldn't fall for it. But if I lead the ten of diamonds and he covers, I can pick the whole diamond up, suit up, and I still make all the diamonds of diamonds of three two. So I'm going to try the see if he covers ploy. Okay, diamonds are probably splitting. Oh no, he did have three to the eight jack. Okay, well now I can pick the whole diamond suit up. Um, by playing back to the queen and a diamond finesse and a diamond pitch a spade and I got three more tricks so I'm gonna just claim three more tricks I got one two three. I got four more tricks I'm claim four more tricks okay well, last hand. Again, I got 14 in the third seat. Is this 14 worth opening a no trump? I don't have the five card suit, which was a bonus. My clubs are sort of weak. Although I got jack 10 9, that's a good holding. I don't have any tens in my long suits, and I don't like my long suits. So this this 14, 
I don't think it's good enough to open a no trump. I think I'm just going to open a diamond. Or if it's a spade, I'm going to bid a no trump. I've got egg. If he invites, I'm obviously going to go to game. Well, I'm obviously going to go to game. So I've got a good 14. Well, other than, well, it's bad 14 because I hate 4 triple 3. Okay, so I can take the double finesse in clubs. By that, I mean I can lead the jack of clubs. And if West has king, queen, or the king, or the queen, any of those three combinations, I can set up a club trick. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to win this diamond in my hand. And then I'm going to take the, a club finesse. So let's count our tricks. We've got three diamonds, hopefully two clubs. A heart and a spade. Three, four, five, six. Eventually, we might have to lead towards the queen of hearts. Um, we've got that in reserve. First thing I'm going to do is uh, take my diamond finesse, I guess. Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Take my club finesse. Okay, well. Easy come, easy go. I guess I will win that one. And set up my extra club. Ooh. Oh, the eight fell, and I've got the nine, so the seven's going to be high. So I've got three club tricks now. The nine and the seven will both win. Three diamond tricks, three clubs is six. The ace of hearts is seven. I still need another trick in here somewhere. Well, if we'll assume East has got the ten of spades, I can finesse back for the. Uh, Best finessing for the 10. All right, well, that's even better. I don't necessarily need to finesse him. I want to save the King of Diamonds as an entry. Um, or do I? Because I can always lead. Yes, I will save the King of Diamonds as an entry. Shoot. Unblock the club suit. So, I can lead a spade up now. If diamonds break, I don't have to. Oh, I got the queen of spades in here. I can lead the king of spades spade to the queen. So I've got four tricks, and I got the two minors and dummy. Is six, the ace of hearts is seven, and the king queen of spades is eight, nine. So when you have nine tricks, you look for ten. One extra trick could be the Queen of Hearts, or I could go to Dummy with a diamond. Take the, I can't take, the, can't get back to Dummy. I can't get back to Dummy to finesse East for the Ten of Spades. That's the problem. I can't get back to Dummy to finesse East for the Ten of Spades. So I'm and I'm gonna try to see if West has a Heart Eight King. Okay, well that's good. Now I think I'm beginning to get a lot of tricks. Well, they're going to finesse the spade for me themselves. I can now claim I got everything is good. Well, that was well, that was a pretty good score. And uh, we'll see you again next week. Um, Hope you enjoyed the video. How do I stop the video?